And here's the thing. But I think that the answer to this question comes back to what are we trying to achieve? What we're trying to achieve is an experience in our room that matches what was intended by the creatives. And what was intended by the creatives would be what they mixed. And what they mixed absolutely did not have heights. There is no mixing studio doing Dolby Atmos mixing. And here's the thing. Some of you may say, well, there's some that are putting them out also in RO3D and also in DTSX. So in the US, I don't know of any that are putting out in RO3D. There are ones putting them out in DTSX. They are not monitoring it in DTSX. They actually do it in Dolby Atmos and then they simply uh, convert it. And there's no re-monitoring at the conversion. It's just a conversion. So at least from the major studios, because I don't have access and don't, I don't talk to minor studios putting out small films, but the major studios who I have access to and talk to folks to who are at sound engineers have told me everything is done with Dolby Atmos and it's done to the standards of Dolby Atmos Pro which means they are using tops, not heights, and that the tops are going to be at the angle that's in the documentation for it. Um, there's obviously a range of angles, but it's going to be within that. So it's your system. You can do whatever you want. And if you want to use heights instead of tops and you find that sounds better, that's for you to decide and that's perfectly okay. But if you want to do a system that matches how this is being done, the top layer should be in the ceiling. That is the correct placement for it for Dolby. That is how all the content you're watching, at least from the US, is being monitored. And so that would be the way to do it so that you can reproduce that accurately. 